Hello, my name is Matthew Mercer. I'm a voice actor and the Dungeon Master on Critical Role here on Geek and Sundry. And today's topic is the joyous, wondrous event of player character death. Now, in running most RPGs, there is the inevitable scenario of a PC falling in battle without means of recovery. Months or years of character development and investment gone in a flash. Now, how do you guide your players through such an intense scenario and move forward in a positive way? I mean, it's the danger you must maintain in your game if it's to hold any real weight and stakes for the players. And in the earlier levels, it can really be a constant and real threat. It can be an emotional and difficult scenario to see through as a GM, so be ready. And here are some ways to hopefully make it easier for the player to digest and make it a real powerful and memorable moment for the game as a whole. Now first, let the players know that when you begin the campaign, that player death is indeed a real possibility. Make sure they understand that fact early in, so as you progress, it doesn't catch them off guard when it does happen for the first time. At least, as off guard as it would. It's going to catch you off guard regardless, but you, you know what I mean. Now, when the moment does happen, don't gloss over it. Explain the death as cinematically as you can, letting the epic final moments ring out in the party as a powerful, if incredibly sad, moment. Now, outside of a non-recoverable corpse or a death that destroys the body instantly, consider letting the player get a few last words out as a battle cry or inspiration to their friends to carry on that will allow a very clear crystal moment for that character to really be remembered by the rest of the players and the PCs for that matter. If there is no resurrection recourse for the PCs, give some time to let the group mourn in-game, in character, and perhaps, if in-game time allows, hold a role-playing wake Try your best to play up the warrior's wake with celebration of their life over hanging on to the sadness of death instead. It really helps the players kind of digest in a positive light and tell rousing stories of great memories they had with their party member and kind of just overall gives a, a better and more healing spin on the whole experience. Also, let the player of the deceased character write an epilogue for their tale, perhaps as a way to Get down those unspoken words they never really got a chance to say before their untimely end came. After the session is done in which the character falls, maybe shortly in the future, depending on gauging it, go out with the players to get drinks or a fine meal to celebrate the memory of the character as just a group of friends sitting at a restaurant somewhere. Uh, it really also helps get rid of all the tension of the moment and let you guys remind yourself that it's just a game and you're all friends still having a good time even when the sad moments happen. As soon as it feels comfortable after the session, go ahead and speak directly with the player about the excitement of getting to create a brand new character and all the endless possibilities of trying out new skills and abilities. Brainstorm new character story ideas and how they would fit into the current campaign. If they're still really attached to their dead characters, perhaps you could brainstorm a way to have the new character involved in the backstory of the deceased PC so that a, a spiritual successor is founded and carries the torch. You can discuss with the other players ways to keep the memory of the Fallen in the game as you go on. They can craft bracelets of remembrance that they refer to in the future during moments of tension. Uh, perhaps they could name their new keep after the dead. Uh, they could use their name as a war cry in future struggles, things like that, ways to keep the memory of that character alive as they play on. There is sometimes difficulty in incorporating a new character into a long-running adventuring party. You know, filling a hole in a long-established rapport can be strange, and finding a way for you, the GM, to bring them in without feeling too forced can really be an interesting challenge. Trust me, it's, uh, it sucks. So I recommend finding a way to tie them to the main narrative threat, or the current overarching quest. Talk with the player about this, and talk with your other PCs about being receptive, as much as their PCs can be, to a new ally. The new PC can be related to, or a friend or ally to the deceased PC, wishing to avenge them and see their goal to completion in their honor. The new PC could even be an off-screen NPC from another player's character's backstory, with that player's permission, of course, already tying them to the party and giving them inherent stakes in the story. The new PC could have strongly aligned goals with the party, and having heard of their proven skills and renown, wish to ensure the best means of success for both of them. They could even arrive to the party with extremely essential information, or an essential artifact of the main quest, quickly tying them to the fate of the adventuring party. The new PC could have a long history with the main antagonist, wishing to tear them down for personal reasons, and they seek like-minded allies to achieve this goal. The new PC could even pick up the reins of a non-essential NPC you introduced that the player took a shine to, and bring them to the forefront of the story as a PC now. You inform the player of what you had developed regarding that NPC and their story, and let them take that and run with it for the future. 
these are all options and ideas of ways to do it, and there are many others that you may be able to research on your own, but uh, I hope that at least these will be somewhat helpful in tackling this somewhat difficult circumstance in your game. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can see other episodes of GM Tips here on geekandsundry.com. I'm Matthew Mercer, and I'll see you on the internet.